Hello. Today we're going to be talking about quarks, and specifically mesons and baryons. We'll be talking about the properties of quarks and how they combine to make up mesons and baryons. We're also going to have another look at beta decay and discuss it in terms of quarks. To start with, there are three types of quark you should know, up, down and strange. They have the charges plus two thirds, minus a third and minus a third. They also have another quantum number, baryon number. Each of these quarks has a baryon number of plus a third. A proton is shown on the right. A proton is one of the baryons, which means its constituents are three different quarks. Specifically, those three quarks are up, up, down. If we think about it, the proton has a charge of plus one. So the individual quark constituents must add up to a total of plus one. What we have is the two up quarks have a charge of plus two thirds and the down quark has a charge of minus a third, giving us an overall charge of plus one. As the proton is a baryon, it must have a baryon number of plus one. If again we think about the constituents, we've got up, up, down. Each of these has a baryon number of plus a third, giving us an overall baryon number of plus one, as expected. Neutrons are similar to protons in that they also contain up and down quarks. The neutron should have a baryon number of plus one, and it should also have a charge of zero. Therefore, the constituents of a neutron must be up, down, down. There are three quarks we should know about for the exam, up, down, and strange, as well as their anti-quark counterparts, anti-up, anti-down, anti-strange. The quark and the anti-quark would have the opposite charge. Similarly, if each quark has a baryon number of plus a third, each anti-quark has a baryon number of minus a third. For example, let's look at antiproton. An antiproton would have constituents anti-up, anti-up, anti-down, giving it an overall baryon number of minus one. The one type of quark we haven't met yet is the strange quark. The strange quark is defined as having an extra quantum number called strangeness. The strange quark has a strangeness of minus one, and the anti-strange quark has a strangeness of plus one. In addition to baryons, the other type of particle made up of quarks are the mesons. Mesons always contain a quark and an anti-quark. For example, pions are made up of up or down quarks in some combination of quark and anti-quark. Mesons always have a baryon number of zero. I'll leave it to the viewer to work out why this is the case. There are in fact eight different mesons we need to know about, all containing some combination of quark and anti-quark. Pions always have constituents of up or down, and kaons always have an up or a down, and they always contain either a strange quark or an anti-strange quark. Let's take an example. Pi minus has a constituent anti-up, down. If we think about the charge, that gives it a charge of minus two thirds, minus a third, for an overall charge of minus one. The charge of these mesons is always shown as a superscript next to the particle. Let's take another example. K plus is made from an anti-strange and an up quark, giving it a charge of plus a third, plus two thirds, for an overall charge of plus one. Here's a question for you to have a go at. Pause the video and think about what the uh, quark constituents are for the following three particles. Some of the properties of quarks are given to you in the bottom right hand corner. Just bear in mind that every meson should have a quark and an anti-quark, and every baryon should contain three quarks. And here are the answers. Okay, so finally today, we're gonna to talk about beta decay. As we know from a previous lesson, in beta minus decay, a neutron changes into a proton with the release of a beta minus particle or a fast moving electron. In beta plus decay, a proton changes into a neutron with the release of a positron. We now have another way of looking at beta decay. In beta minus decay, for example, we can think that a down quark changes into an up quark. This is what causes a neutron to change into a proton. In beta plus decay, an up quark changes into a down quark Therefore, the proton changes into the neutron. Here's a question for you to have a go at. Pause the video and write down the answers to this question, and then I'll give you the answers on the next slide.
And finally, here are the answers.